Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you know, I am Cindy Lumpkin, the LD educator, and I am a special education teacher. I am super excited to share with you today how much I got paid as a teacher YouTuber with my first YouTube paycheck. So make sure you stick around. Okay guys, so I'm super excited to share with you my first YouTube paycheck and how much I got paid as a YouTube teacher. I've recently met a ton of new YouTubers, teacher YouTubers to be exact, and I'm really excited. And so I'm sharing my experience just as motivation and inspiration for those teachers who are just starting their YouTube channels, who have been in the game for a while and they're still not monetized. It can be a long road for some people. Some people it's shorter. I think the most important thing that you can do on this journey, particularly if you are really interested in making videos and just being a part of the YouTube community, is to not give up to pace yourself, to take your time, and to understand that there are many different journeys or different roads to that mountaintop, which for most of us is ultimately to get monetized and to get paid a little something for what we love to do in the first place. And I say what we love to do in the first place is because I tell every person who encounters me or asks me about being a YouTuber is that first you really have to love what you do. If you do not love making videos just out of your pure passion and um, wanting to share your content with other people, and if your only purpose is to actually make money from YouTube, you can burn out really, really fast and end up quitting. At the end of the day, the people who really do well really love YouTube as a passion outside of money. Now, I'm super competitive, okay? Super competitive. That's just who I am by nature. My main purpose in doing this is not for money whatsoever. I love special education. I love giving information about special education. I love connecting with uh, teachers, helping them with their students. I love connecting with parents. I love connecting with other individuals who have learning disabilities and being an inspiration and a motivation for them and sharing best best practices. And so I would do this all day long, absolutely for free. But I don't have to, right? Because there is an incentive. I definitely have been shooting for that mark of actually getting monetized. Now, my journey is a little bit different. I've been on YouTube for whoa, years, probably five or six years. And I uploaded videos, not for the purpose of being a content creator, but just to have a place to have the video that I did take. And then about, um, has it been a year or it's a little over a year ago, I actually said, hey, I really want to use my channel as a platform for the content that I create for special education. So I started taking it seriously in 2018. December, I believe I put my first intentional video up to in December, 2018. So the ball really got rolling probably in January with me actually making content, particularly for the LD educator. Um, and I did eventually find someone who kind of coached me one-on-one, -on -one, which was a huge help. The lessons that I learned from her really did help me. Um, I ended up getting monetized in about six months. Now, it still didn't come the way that I would have liked it. I had one video that kind of went viral. Um, and that happened back in June. That video, like overnight, went crazy. And so it was the video that really got me over a thousand subscribers. It was also the video that got me over the 4,000 watch hours that you need in order to be monetized. And so that is basically the first thing that you would need to do. So if you are currently a new YouTuber and you're hoping to get monetized, the first two goals that you're going to have as far as it relating to being monetized is to get 1,000 subscribers and then 4,000 watch hours. And those 4,000 watch hours are not easy, but it definitely can be done. It's not the thing that I would say start out worrying about. I, I would say just start out doing the content that you want to promote and focus on that and focus on with every video, just making it better, trying to reach um, somebody in your ideal 
audience. So there are two ways that you can make money on YouTube. One obviously is through AdSense and that's when you become monetized and that's how you get paid. They actually put um, commercials or advertisements on your videos and under your videos with overlays or what have you and then you get paid a small percentage and I will say a small percentage because um, it is definitely a, not a lot of money particularly if you don't have a ton of um, viewers I won't say subscribers because most of the people that watch me like over 80% um, is not subscribed to my channel. But shout out to those of you who are subscribed and who continually come back because I do see those analytics there, there too. And I am always just so thankful for those of you who support my channel and support uh, what I'm doing in my nonprofit, Triumph in Life Inc. and with the school and everything else that we do. Um, so that's one way. The second way is sponsorships. So um, a lot of times when your channel is either niched or you become sensational or whatever, and you don't even have to be sensational. There are different companies that will reach out to you. Some of them will actually pay you money to mention their product, to show their product in your videos. There are also companies who would reach out to you and say, hey, I have this product. Would you be interested in reviewing it on your channel? So I have not been approached yet to actually have a company pay me money for being in one of my videos, but I've had several companies that reached out to me and said, hey, I like your channel. This is my latest product. Would you be interested in sharing with your fans? Those are the two ways. But like I said, make sure that your heart is in it because if it's not, I've had lots of ups and downs with YouTube. I'm gonna just say I started at the beginning of the year, 2019. Um, by the time June came, I ended up having that viral video and that is what kind of put me over the top. So uh, right before the month of July was over, I actually had hit what, my 1,000 subscribers and my, and my 400,000 watch hours. At that point, I had to apply to Google to actually be a part of their AdSense program. So just because you reach monetization as far as getting your 1,000 viewers and reaching your 400,000 or your 4,000, excuse me, watch hours, it doesn't mean that you're gonna be monetized because YouTube also only wants to be in relationship with people who have content that they can actually put their ads on. So if you have anything that's controversial or that's really explicit, sexually explicit, then they probably would not enter into that relationship with you. It took a week for them to actually approve me. So after they approved me, I had to wait for this little paper. And actually, um, you see a lot of people like holding that up on the different thumbnails on YouTube saying, hey, I got my first paycheck. It is really not a paycheck. It's actually a pin so that you can set up your AdSense account because YouTube does not send you paper checks. They usually pay out once a month and you have to add, you have to add your tax information and then you have to ha have your banking information. So they send money once a month directly to your bank account once you set all of that up. Now, I would love to say that I immediately got a check the next month. I didn't. And matter of fact, I didn't get one for the whole year of 2019. Actually, I only made about $64 for the whole year, which means YouTube would not pay out because you have to reach a threshold of $100. And because I didn't reach that threshold, then the money just kept rolling over month to month, build it up. Now, why didn't I reach that threshold? Well, here's one of the things that most people don't think about. So unless you really hit that 4,000 watch hours and that 1,000 watch time with people who really have fallen in love with your content, your whole channel, <laughs> then it's harder to make the amount of money that we all want to make or even just the minimum so YouTube can pay you once a month. And so remember, I told you about that video. It was a one-time video. People, I believe, fell in love with my passion or the passion that I had talking about how, you know, people are treated, especially people with 
um, disabilities may be treated in the criminal justice system. And so they rewarded me by one, clicking and watching that video and subscribing, but not a lot of them returned for my content. And so I had to continue just like everyone else to really bust my butt to make content for the audience or my ideal audience and connect with them. In addition, I got burnt out. You know, I'm still working full time. And so there was like probably over a month where I did not upload anything whatsoever. And so that's never helpful. Um, and that's the one thing that I would also convey to you guys is that once you start, you have to be consistent and you have to make sure that you're organized so that you will not burn yourself out. So here we are, 2020. I started back up basically in 2020 with the commitment <laughs> to really be more consistent to really make the content that I felt like I, one that I wanted to make that would help teachers, parents, and those with learning disabilities. And so far, I really have kind of stayed the course and I have month by month to month improved my ad revenue. As of today, uh, for the whole year so far of 2020, I've made a hundred, about $136. And I got my first YouTube check in June. So um, usually YouTube is a month delay. So whatever you make in May, you get in June. Except if you do not reach that $100 threshold, then they don't pay out. And then the money just rolls over. So um, since that time, I, when I started out, I think I was only making like $10 a month. And right now I am almost at $40 a month. So I didn't get paid in July, but if I continue at the rate that I am, then I would probably have um, enough to cash out in August again. There you have it. That is my first YouTube paycheck story. That is how much I got paid as a teacher, YouTuber, and um, I'm really just ecstatic. Like once again, I told you I'm super competitive. So and it's my goal to just to continue to work hard, to continue to pr produce the content that I want to produce. And hopefully you guys will reward me for it by giving me a view, watching my videos all the way to the end. And if you haven't, go ahead on and subscribe. Help a small YouTuber out. Um, a lot of us do what we do because we are really in love with the content that we produce. So if you have any YouTuber friends, go ahead on and support them. And matter of fact, you may not like all of their content and they may not be the best at producing their content, but if you watch it and you give them feedback and you let them know, then they can become better and better and they can make reasonable money doing YouTube, doing what they love. And I think um, that's kind of what I like about YouTube too. Like, you know, I'm not the DIYer. Um, I'm not the, as you can see, the hair girl. I'm not the video, I mean the makeup girl, but who I am is like a person who lives for special education and working with people who have different types of learning disabilities. YouTube has given me, just like many other people, a platform to kind of put their content out there and to be rewarded for it. So for all of you who do watch my content and for all of you who watch it to the end, because if you're still listening to this, you have watched it to the end. I am so super appreciative um, to you. You know, there's so many teachers who are getting second jobs and doing things because they need to have more money to add to what they make because you know we don't always get paid that much right and i am just so grateful that i can work and use my platform on youtube to bring in additional revenue thank you so much for joining me thank you for being a part of my tribe and remember if you have any questions whatsoever about special education reach out to me i am on instagram at the ld educator i can be found on facebook as cindy lumpkin the ld coach and as always you can drop your question or comment down in the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. Love you. Bye.